if the they may, they may have they may they, they either have a pocket uh, ages or a pocket Steve or a pocket uh, Kazia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Carflow has uh, dissuaded my fears and is instead rocking that Roy against uh, Kamex's Sonic. Now, uh, this this will be uh, quite pretty interesting, considering quite, that, that both characters are really fast uh, quite, on, uh, on the ground. But, uh, but Carflo, or rather Roy, uh, quite, got the advantage of, 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 of sword range, so uh, let, let's see how it goes. Yeah, that sword is definitely going to be doing wonders in this matchup against Kamex. You know, those disjoints are going to be so good at keeping Sonic out, something that stubbier characters you know, really have a much harder time with. Looking for a jab right there. And and my god, Sonic, uh, Sonic is, is, is not given a chance to play whatsoever. Uh, Ooh, that was actually really good awareness there by Carflow to you know, walk back into center stage, realizing that Kamex was in prime position to just shoot themselves off stage with that homing attack. Yes, nice, nice. So let's let's see. Oh wow, uh, Carco is uh, is is uh, going pedal to the metal over here with uh, with the movement. But San um, but Kamex over here is, is over here with the edge guards. Yeah, and I want to say, ooh, that was. Excellent F smash. I do want to commend Kamex's uh, timing, the way that they've been playing around um, like Carflow's side Bs, uh, using the timing to just get in between those side B hits. That time there, unfortunately not finding the timing, but and again, come on Kamex, I mean, you're making me look bad. I mean, hey, if it, if it, if it, if it, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. I don't know, it's looking a little broke. You, you mean broke in? Yeah. <laughs> but oh, oh, okay. Just using that uh, air dodge there. Sonic's got a great air dodge and recover from very low. So, so let's see. Uh, Sonic over here is, uh, is is in pretty bad shape. I, I don't think he, he has yet to really land on the stage for more than two seconds without like, an edge guard. Oh let go of the F-Smash a little bit too early. Kamex, I think, was trying for a two-frame there, while Carflow was instead trying to threaten the ledge by holding down and just got a little bit mixed up. Carflow able to take that second stock, while Kamex, you know, with no rage and a Carflow sitting in center stage, you've got a mountain to climb right now. Because, you know... What I'm really, what I'm really liking the, from Carflow here is, is the punishment opportunities. Whenever he... Ooh, Oh, that read from the future. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, what I really like about Carpool here is, is, is the amount of uh, punishes of course, he's getting whenever Kamex whips something or, 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 mis or mistimes a move. Yep, and now seeing you know, Sonic in disadvantage definitely have a pretty bad time when he's trying to play from behind. Sonic does not have the best you know, raw kill power. He's really got to get you in a sequence off stage where he can really ledge guard or ledge trap you or edge guard you. But a bear from center stage is going to be all it takes for Carflow to take game one. Mm. Now, uh, okay, I, I, I'll be honest. I am not sure where where to take a uh, a, a Roy uh, in this in this sort of situation. Where, where do you think O'Clock can can should go? This is a rough one because uh, you know Kamex is going to want room to run around, but also doesn't want anywhere with you know small blast zones. So instead, Kamex taking things to right back to PS2, which I believe is kind of a happy medium for that. I have to imagine that Kalos was definitely banned on uh, Carflow's part. Uh, hard to say because we don't have the uh, tablets here, unfortunately. Mm, that's, that's a, that, that is a fair point. But but let's see if, if Kamex over here can make a bit of a difference. But now he has an idea of how Carflow plays. Oh, well. You avoided the zero to death by doing exactly 1%. So, you know, Carflow hey, coming in up. Carflow coming in swinging on this game too. That's a jumpless Sonic. Carflow Oh, I think Carflow got saved there by the spring. I think that up B uh, wouldn't have made it to the ledge. But Kamek's trying 
uh, unfortunately, to Gimp there. Ended up saving Carflow. And now you have to deal with Carflow at the ledge again. Carflow's just been a beast in this ledge trapping. My Even with the speed of Sonic, Carflow's just been all over. Absolutely a, 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 a relentless. Shit, man. Egg Eggman needs, uh, uh, needs to take notes. Yep. So we're seeing Kimmich trying to slow things down, but another kind of telegraphed spin, like jump spin charge there. Going to be putting Kamex in a bad spot, and Carflow taking the second stock while sitting pretty only on 72. But finally, almost looking to get the kill there. But that laser doing so much work. And and now, of course, we have Kamex over here, of course, of course, really be, being pushed to the limit of, of trying to get something as, as far as an, an advantage. Meanwhile, Carflow is just swinging left, oh right, and center. <laughs> that downer, that downer was wild. That was hitting no one, but. You know, Carflow is just holding down the gas right now. Ooh, nice movement there from, 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 from Kamex. Oh, and is he going to get the kill? No. No, a great neutral air dodge by Carflow means he's still going to be living. And it is it is looking rough for Kamex right now. I don't know. I don't know if I see a universe in which Kamex wins this game too. Well, I well I am gonna try my best to to, to believe the they could bring this back. He just needs to to to, to slow down the car, car flow in, in some in some manner. Ooh, he had the drag down forward air, but wasn't able to capitalize off of it. Not even a back air gonna be taking it. There, there we're seeing you know the raw cow, kill power of Sonic is just not up to snuff when it comes to Roy. Oh, that was oh. desperate looking. Man, I I can't tell if the car the carpo was playing with his food or or something else, but uh, I, I thought it was that, that, that was death right there. Yeah, and we can even see Carflo kind of starting to slow things down a little bit. You know, recognizing that Kamex is in such a a bad spot, and Sonic isn't really a character who can make comebacks. But there we go, finally the jab back air. I, that was a three stock, just dominant for Carflo. Ugh. Ugh. That was a very bloody match. Uh, I I do wish Cam has good luck in, in the loser in the loser bracket. Uh, meanwhile, of course, Carflow, of course, props to him, of course, for, for, for handling for handling of course, that match in such a dominating fashion. Yep. <laughs> I oh wait yeah yeah here I think we'll see. I oh let's. I'm not sure if Carflow was making that back. I know Roy's got some great magnet hands, but that spring for sure saved his life. Mhm. Mm it it uh, it was it was uh pretty hard to tell. Well, no, not really, but uh, what whether Carf uh, whether Carflo did manage to to make it back. What's important now is, is that he managed to move on and win his bracket. Yep, Carflow, such a momentum-focused player. You know, he's going to be keeping that momentum into uh, the next winner's match. Speaking of the next winner's match, we've got Zane coming up against LRA Start.